morning and what a beautiful morning down here, Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. Welcome to Church on the Beach. Hey, we are so glad that you could join us today. We're going to continue on with having a heart of fire. Even though we don't see many of you, we have a heart and a love for you. And appreciate all the comments that you make. Want God to really bless you today. I know there are people that are watching this beautiful scenery and hearing these words that are going through times of trouble and difficult things. And we're not alone in this, but we have answers in God. We have answers in His Word. And we give praise and glory to God, for He is a very present help in the time of need. But in everything, let's stir our hearts again today. There's some scriptures that come to mind today. One is found in the book of Isaiah, chapter 50 and verse 11. It says, Look all you who kindle a fire, who encircle yourself with sparks. Walk in the light of your fire and the sparks that you have kindled. Hey, think about it. We're going to walk in the light of the fire that we start. And the sparks that come off that fire. In other words, we need to practice what we believe and if we preach it walk in it I mean even today we may feel downcast shut up and depressed and trying to break through even the prophet Jeremiah may have had his feelings of despair when he was shut up in the prison Jeremiah 33 says moreover the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the second time while he was still shut up in the courts of the prison, saying, Thus says the Lord who made it, the Lord who formed it, to establish it, the Lord is his name. Call to me, and I will answer you, and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. What a great promise for someone today. Call unto me. God says, call unto me, call out unto me, cry unto me, let your needs and requests be made known unto me. Call unto me and I will answer you and I'll show you great and mighty things. Yes, I will. I will show you great and mighty things that you know not. Do not be frightened to cry out to a holy God because he loves you so much and he wants to hear your voice. He says, call out. Those that call upon the name of the Lord, they shall be saved, they shall be delivered, they shall be set free. God is a good God. From time to time we all go through something. Sometimes it's so difficult. And we wonder whether God really knows about it, whether God really cares, whether He understands. I want to say today He does. He knows the number of hair that you have on your head. He sees a sparrow fall to the ground and die. I believe that God would even be at the funeral of that sparrow. And I know that whatever you may be going through, that all things, I say it again, all things work together for good to them that love God and to those that are called according to His purpose. But how can you believe it when you're going through it? How can you understand unless you know that God even could be in it? To bring you forth into something greater than what you've ever known before. But he says unto you, call unto me and I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things that you know not. Why don't you call out to God today? Why don't you cry unto God today in your prison house, in your need? Call out to Him. Many times in life, Rosalie and I have had to call out to God. Oh God, we need you so much. We're not ashamed of the living God. We're not ashamed of what He can do. We're not ashamed of His works. We're not ashamed of His word. When Jesus rose from the dead and sat at the right hand of God the Father, He had declared that all power in heaven and earth is given unto me. In Matthew 28 verse 18, He says, All authority. Hey, think about it. Think about it. All authority in heaven and in earth is given unto me. Jesus has power in the heavenly realms, in creation itself, in the sun, the moon, the stars, the galaxies, 
the planets. Jesus has power in the earth. He has power over nature. He has power over climate change. He has power over the past, over the present, over the future. He has power over principalities and powers. And he will reign until all things are under his feet. And if you make him Lord of your life today, he has power over all sickness, power over all disease, over your finances, over your way of life, everything. Jesus is Lord. Let's call out to him and surrender it all to him. For he is Lord and he is Lord of all.